What up guys, Jerry Kudrimo, and yes, I am back from my business trip. I was gone for like two weeks, and I've been trying to get back home, and especially that I have an item that I ordered, I've been waiting to build. It's a dial that I did not build myself. It's a dial, I, I couldn't build this dial. But I definitely, definitely uh, support people out there that are just amazing at building their stuff, and today's item is a special one. Boom. So this item is called Ambicutus and it's made by Nova Darkside. Now, I was pondering around Instagram. I saw some awesome toy photography of Star Wars and I saw all this like, it looked like the Death Star, you know, and it had lighting. So I asked the gentleman, I was like, yo, where'd you get this? And he was like, no, you can buy it. <laughs> And there's a new version. There's one that doesn't have LED lights and there's one that does have LED lights. And this is the one with LED lights. All right, it says right there, LED lights. So it says here you could uh, be creative, build your own unique ambiguous display. And it gives you many options of what you can build. Definitely wanted to show you guys a video of me building this, all right? So it's kind of like a toy review, but it's more of a diorama review and that's about it so that's what today's video is about today's gonna be about me assembling this guy right here and maybe you guys want to buy it too who knows so let's get to it here's the item let's see all right first thing first gives you a pamphlet here before you begin on how to, how to handle the lighting and then it gives you remote instructions of the different lights pretty cool here's a booklet looks like it's the instructions of every single piece wow look at that this is gonna be a lot of work a little tight here we go wow look at that <laughs> Looks like a whole bunch of old school zip drives. That was box number one. <laughs> box number two. <clears throat> All right, this is it. Damn, there's a lot of pieces. So that's probably why they give you so many options is for you to customize it however you want it. But yeah, here it is, this is all the pieces. Some other panels, some of their panels with, with LED lights in the back or more like a panel for the LEDs to illuminate through. These are, I guess these are some connection pieces. These are the LEDs right here. More connection pieces, pieces I don't know, tubes. Yeah, it's a lot of, it's a lot of stuff. So yeah, so now the next part is I'm gonna go into reading the instructions and then maybe making a choice of which direction I'm gonna go about building this dial. I've been working on my Marvel uh, Danger Room setup and I wanted this to be a connection piece to that setup in my room. So, so yeah, so that's what I'm kind of going at with this, but who knows, who knows how this goes. You know, maybe pick one of these but also see if I can maybe, um, I don't know. I really don't know, maybe come up with some alternative. Let's get to it. All right, so I guess my train of thought is before I get crazy with it, let me understand this thing. And then once I build it, maybe I have a better understanding of how it works and then maybe I can undo it and then recreate it the way I want it to. Still building them, but check this out. It's pretty cool. Like I'm starting to set up like, as I'm building them, I'm like thinking of the walkway, you know, and all that stuff. One thing I'm gonna tell you guys, you better have some strong thumbs, man. Cause this shit is brutal. Oh my God. After a while, you're just tired. So I'm using now the ball of my thumb. Cause my point is tired. It's so, 
It's like numb. Oh my god, that shit. <clears throat> it's so brutal. After a while, your thumb can't handle it, so the ball actually helps a lot. Hopefully, it doesn't get the thumb. Alright, so I kind of got ahead of myself. I connected, I connected the panels. Basically, this is really simple. Basically, you got these panels here, right? <clears throat> you add these, you add these hinges through here, and then you got these clips that basically bind them together to any piece, right? And that's how that's how they hold on to each other. You have them on all angles, right? <clears throat> and then in regards to, um, example, this these lights, there's holes here, and there's holes here. Put them on, they clip. So I, once I started building this fast, I was like, wait a minute, these are like Legos. You know, I got here Xavier here, trying to, trying to see how to just add the bridge, you know, where he starts doing his thing. So, so yeah, it's pretty cool, it's pretty cool, so. All right, so I, I figured something out and um, just trying to kind of wire everything correctly. So I turned it on just to see if the connection is being made. But uh, after a while, it's pretty, it's pretty easy, you know. It's just they're like Legos, and you just got to think about the wiring if you want to use the LEDs, but it's pretty cool. So now I'm building a plank, and to get a cool effect uh, with the, this this type of um, panel with this ridge on the side, I can use this particular grid and put it together like this. So then it gives me this cool edge. Like if it's a like a bridge. I think you all know where I'm where I'm heading at with this. <laughs> so Got the panel and then going to glue cerebro. cerebro. Alright, so next up, um, I'm a perfectionist, so I had to. Um, so uh, this is this is actually a drain pipe right here, right? Uh, and then this is a mirror. Right now, I just glued it together, right? It gives me that pattern. Oh, there I am. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so yeah, the uh, reason for this is because I want to do this. All right, so that's that's the effect that I want, and I want to put this on the edge of the bridge, the connection to the rest of this build, 
But I gotta spray paint this first. The control panel where the helmet's at. So I found, well, I bought this for a dollar. 99 at Hobby Lobby, it's a, it's a cardboard pot. Alright, ta-da! It's done. Uh, this video, or this build, took its own course. This video is about this item right here. And instead, I utilized that item and customized my own like diorama here. And what you're seeing here is Cerebro. This is where Xavier enhances his ability to use his telekinetic abilities to, to do whatever he needs to do. And I tap into them. Now, uh, the part that's custom is this part right here, all right? Um, this is actually for a shower drain. And I spray painted it metallic. We see on top, it's a mirror on top of it. And basically, it's just because I wanted that, just the outer lights to, to illuminate and then the under one to go underneath. Uh, this right here is that pot that I cut and then I'm just using a bobby pin but I'm putting Xavier's helmet and I put it in front of the bridge um, I mean it's kind of a hack it's not you know 100% how I would want to be able to build it I was trying to see if I could con find a piece to connect this but um, in this case I just I'm happier with just with it being this way um, this guy right here is very cool. First of all, if you guys are interested in buying this item, just don't feel intimidated by it. It looks intimidating at first. It's actually very easy. They're like Legos, and they have a specific pattern that allows you to clip these panels together, and they're not permanent. You could take this apart with no problem. I mean, I had a lot of I had a lot of questions before I bought this, and I didn't see any video that really got too into it. And it was, and hopefully in my video it gives you that information that this is not hard to build at all. These are, these are just like an adult version of Legos, and it gives you certain panels. And I understand now why they have the regular pack, the lighting pack, and then they have the expansion pack. Because you can make this and take it to levels and levels and levels. So with with the with the kit that I bought, the light the LED kit version, um, is basically the same as the first one. It's just it has the LED panels, so it allows me to link up all these panels that are that is able to uh, give me um, lighting, and also I could use my the remote and I could change the colors. You know, the color options, okay? I just noticed some of the connections are off because they're not lighting. There we go. So, <clears throat> that's that. Now, I was able to build this because I didn't build the back panel of this, of this build. Instead, I just got a piece of foam and in the video you saw that I put, I put a, a monitor in the back and I, mean, I am able to put a monitor back here but if I just, just wanted to show you guys in case you guys don't want to build a monitor you can just get a phone board print out the picture you want 
and then just paste it in the back as an alternative. So I just wanted to show you guys that. And that gave me more pieces to play with, so I was able to build this uh, plank, this bridge. Right. So, yeah, I mean, overall, it's freaking awesome. It's fun. This was a fun. I did this in one day. The only part that took me another day was this part right here. Just searching and just trying to come up with an idea to figure out this part of, the, of this custom build. But, yeah, yeah. So, guys, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you guys learned from, from this video. And please write a comment, hit that like button, and please subscribe. All right, guys? Peace.